Kia ora koutou. I'm going to talk to you today about how you can use the features in Google Docs to help you edit your story. So Google Docs has some features that are built into it where it recognises if you've made a spelling mistake. Sometimes it will correct it for you or it will underline it in red to show you that that word is spelt incorrectly. So I'm going to start by showing you those things. So I'm going to start typing the story. Now I've typed the word once incorrectly and I want you to watch what happens. So once I do a couple more words you'll see that it underlined that word once in red to show me that that is not spelt correctly but it doesn't know what the word's supposed to be, so you'll have to fix that yourself. Once there was a boy named Raymond who loved to draw. Raymond. Now I've typed Raymond. It's the start of my next sentence, but I haven't given it a capital letter. Watch what happens. As soon as I press the space bar, it gives it a capital letter because it recognises that I had a full stop so therefore I must have a capital letter straight afterwards and you might notice that that has now got some little grey dots underneath it that's telling me that it's fixed something just in case I didn't want it to fix it sometimes it fixes things that you might not want it to um, Raymond drew a picture of a vase his. Now I'm going to type the word brother incorrectly and I want you to watch what happens when I get past it. His brother, now as soon as I press the space bar it fixed that word because it recognised that it was spelled incorrectly and it recognised what it should have been so it fixed it for me. His brother laughed at him. Okay, another thing that I can do, um, I can use Google Docs as a dictionary. So if you go into tools and you go down to the word dictionary, over on the side here will pop up a dictionary. And you can type in a word like it sounds and it will help you to find that word. So I want to say he was passionate about drawing, but I don't know how to spell passionate. So I'm just going to type it like it sounds. Pash on it. And now I'm going to go return, and it gives me the correct spelling for that word passionate, passionate, so I can add that to my story. He was passionate about drawing. I could also use this dictionary tool to help me find words, um, synonyms for words, so words that mean the same thing, but other words, so it's kind of like using it for a thesaurus. Um, so now I want to say um, Raymond was very upset um, by his brother. Now I don't really like this word upset, I want to change that for something better. So over in my dictionary I can type in the word upset and it's going to tell me um, the meaning of the word and it's also in blue here going to give me a whole lot of other words that I could use instead. Um, so I might instead use the word distressed. Raymond was very distressed by his brother. And that sounds a lot more interesting. Now you will notice that as you do your work, I might add in some comments to your work. So you might see in your work um, something that looks like this. We're over at the side here, I'll just get rid of this dictionary, over at the side here I've added a comment. I love the word distressed that you have used here. And then it will be just like that. Now I don't want you to click on the little side there and delete the comments. I want them to stay there because when you do your reports with your parents, I want them to be able to see the comments that I've made to your work. Good luck today um, using Google Docs to help you to edit 
and fix any mistakes that you have in your work.